Welcome everyone to a beautiful song. John Mellencamp and Bruce Springsteen together. Uh, this is for John Mellencamp's new album. Uh, this song, Wasted Days, if you haven't heard it, really listen to it. Listen to the uh, vocals or watch a video with the vocals. Um, it's really good, especially as you get older, you can appreciate a lot of it. Uh, the intro is really cool. Um, they do some arpeggios in this. Um, there's a violin solo. I've got that written out. Um, there's actually a guitar solo. I've got that written out. So we'll go over all the parts for you. I've uploaded my notes. They're down below so you can download that. Um, and we'll get to the song next. Alright, so let's talk about how the song starts out. Um, basically, we're going to be playing B e to A. Song's in the key of E, alright, so we'll have a B in there, eventually an F sharp minor, um, but those are the main chords, your E, A, and B. Now the E starts out with the arpeggiated notes that I talked about. So what we're going to do is hit the 6th, 5th, and 4th string together, and then hit the 3rd string and the second string holding our E. Alright, so you'll have this as one kind of motion. See how it rings out as an E, but you've hit those separate notes. And then we move to our A. Alright, this is a full A. We want that bottom E to ring. Alright, so we're going to down down, down, up strum it, and then down and lift off on the second string for an A suspended two. And then to our E. That A suspended two move is, is used a lot in this. Um, he'll do it just strumming, and he'll also do it as part of the change to E. Alright, rather than just Okay, so that A, A to A suspended 2 to E is really important for the melody and even that E arpeggio. So, again, this struck me as so cool when I was learning this song. I'm like, that's what they're doing. The light bulb just went off and it all fell together. So, um, the intro starts out with our E arpeggio to our A. And it's basically two counts before we lift up to our A suspended second and then E. Alright? So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. Then we do it again. time he's going to lift off but then use that A back to A suspended second again to lead us to the E. So this will be the third part of this first, the intro measure. See how it's used separately? That is like a walk lead up to our B. It's just a standard B power chord, basically. You can add the second string to A twice. So that's two strums on B, two strums on A. Now, I usually move to the full A because, again, we're going to be using that pull off or that off um, to A suspended. Okay, so we have this. So that's really our transition to E. So you'll hear that arpeggio, and then we start in again. That's where the verse comes in, right on the A. Now, if you watch the video of John and Bruce doing this, 
John puts a capo on the second fret and basically just transposes the chords. I didn't worry about the transformation. I think it sounds really nice in the open um, stringed, if you will, without the capo. John's just really covering the rhythm um, with, again, the transposed chords. All right, so the verse, which really kind of began with that be arpeggiated, all right, at the end of the intro, we start singing with the A. All right, then we go to our B, A change. So you can see there, I went to the A power chord. I did that on purpose just to show you it's, quote, not the end of the world when you hit the B twice to A twice. Just move to your A and then pull off the suspended. So that A suspended again gets you turned around. Then we're going to do our little arpeggio um, E again. And then we're into the chorus. All right, so the chorus will start on our A. We're gonna hit A twice, and then A suspended, and then A, A suspended to E. So it'll sound like this. It's a down, down, up with the A. Then off. And then we come back on and off quickly to our E. That repeats. All right. The second half of this measure of the chorus will be we're going to go from the B to A with our A suspended switching to E twice. So at that point, after the first chorus, is the violin solo. So I'm going to go over the rhythm of the violin solo, and then I'll go over the actual violin solo if you want to play along with the acoustic. It sounds fine. So we'll do that next. Okay, next up we got the violin solo. All right, the rhythm for the solo is the intro. All right, so I'm going to play through that quickly so you can see it. It all ends with that arpeggiated E, and then we're back into another verse and another chorus, which we've gone over. Violin solo. This is real fun to play with. It's it's just a it's a beautiful sound, and it sounds great on an acoustic. So we're at the E fifth position, so seventh and ninth fret, and it'll start. It'll I'll just go through the whole thing. So basically, we're going to start out on the third and second string. That's the only, and the first string is what we'll be using. But we start out ninth fret, third to second string. Then we go to the seventh fret. And then we'll hit it again and hammer into nine. Hit nine two more times. Back to seven. Then we're going to hit seven on the second string and slide to nine to kind of end this little quarter measure. So all together, one, two, three, four. All 
All right, we're going to repeat that first pattern up to the first string at seven. We're going to slide to nine next from seven on the second string, come back to seven and slide to five. All right, so we have this so far for this next half measure. One, two, three, four. All right, this next is really the full measure. I'll show you part of it and then we'll finish up. We're gonna start out just the same. Then we're gonna hammer seven to nine again and hit seven unhammered, if you will, uh, on the first string. So we have this so far. Alright, at that point we're going to come to the second string, hit it to nine. Alright, let's consider that the first half measure. We'll play it together. One, two, three, four. Alright, at that point there's another hit on nine, a quick slide to ten, and slide back to nine. Then we catch nine on the third string. And then we hit seven twice. It's then we'll hit seven to nine and then nine again. All right, so all together from the slide, one, two, three, four. Alright, so there's the whole, quote, violin solo. This will repeat at, during the outro, alright? So basically they're going to go out playing the same chords as the intro with the violin accompanying them playing this solo. It's exactly the same, probably just overdubbed. Um, but we'll go over the bridge next, the guitar solo rhythm and the guitar solo, and you'll have the song. Okay, so during the bridge, there is an accordion solo. It's, it's played with a melody under these bridge chords, which takes us to the guitar solo and the guitar solo rhythm, all right? Another verse and then choruses and basically an outro. All right, so for the bridge, we're gonna do a half measure of F sharp minor, half, half measure, half measure of A, and then our A to A suspended to E for, which will be a quarter measure each, all right? Then we're to our F sharp minor, and then to E, and then to A, F sharp minor, and then we go to a B, and this B is held for a full four measures. It kind of leads in out of the accordion solo into the guitar solo in the solo rhythm. All right, so let's play through the bridge. One, two, three, four. guitar solo and the guitar solo rhythm. So the guitar solo rhythm, basically we're going to start in with our A and then A suspended. So it's two A's and then A suspended to E, but it's not the quick change, all right? So it's more of a then we'll do we'll do the arpeggio This will be the quick change. Leading 
us into the B, A, A suspended in E. We do the arpeggio that leads us into the last verse, which we know. The chorus will repeat three times, all right? After the third chorus went to the outro with the violin solo. And again, it's, it's basically our A with A suspended to E, no quick change, until the third time through. So the first two times for the outro will be this. twice, A to A suspended, quick change to E, and just hold the E to end. And that ends the song. Alright, so next we'll go over the guitar solo, and you'll have the whole song. Okay, the solo goes like this. sixth string to the sixth string at the fourth fret, fifth string, second fret, and then hammer on to four, and then we'll hit four two more times before hitting two on that fifth string to four, two, four on the sixth string. <laughs> We'll start out the same but doing a hammer on from two to four four times before we come back to two on the fifth string. And then our four two four on the sixth string. Alright, so that first measure of the guitar solo together slowly. One, two, three, four. slide up to the fifth string at seven, hit four string six to seven, and then we slide into the third string at four, hitting the um, second string at four to five. Alright, so we have this. Alright, that point, that's the first quarter of measure of the second half of the solo. We're going to slide into the fourth string at seven and then hit four on the third string to five on the second. Then we come to the third string and hit that sliding to two and then one. And then we come to the uh, fourth string at two this will be outlining an A, fourth string at two and fifth string at two. See that E? Alright, then we're going to hammer on on the second fret of the fourth and third string to four three times. The third time will be a pull off back to two. Then we hit one on that fourth and third string, so we have this. And then we're going to hit the second fret of the fifth and fourth string. And we end it with harmonics. The last harmonic really threw me because it's a C sharp. Um, 
and I'm like, no, they're not fretting that note. But the C sharp happens on the fifth string at 16. All right, so we're going to hit the first string at 12, second string at 12, and then we go to 16 on the fifth string. And that is the solo. So you have everything there. Just a wonderful song. Really well played, put together. Um, great lyrics. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all your support and letting the uh, ads play. It's really helped me a lot. Enjoy. <laughs>